Hello there everyone and welcome to the C-Sharp Crash Course. This series is going to be teaching you some basics to do with C-Sharp which you'll be able to implement into modding. So in each lesson I'm going to be covering a different variety of topics that will help you. We're going to progress into different steps and in this one we're going to be starting with some basic stuff such as namespaces, the using directives and the classes which I know already sounds kind of advanced, but these are all the important things that are going to be needed for modding. So what I'm going to be doing is creating a class uh, file that is going to be called my class. And then we're going to go over what each of these things are. I'm actually going to destroy the whole entire lot. So it's an empty file. So the first thing I'm going to cover is a namespace. So a namespace is a keyword which is used to contain code and help you organize your code as well as gives control over what methods that you, you can access and what you can uh, use. Uh, namespaces are very helpful in making sure that everything is accessible so for example if i wanted to access the console which is like console.byteline blah 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 uh if my class was also called console there'd be a conflict in uh the classes whereas a namespace will allow you to access the different classes so such as system.console is the main console but I could have the C sharp crash course and then have a class called console which I can access through this namespace so the namespace is followed by a directory of sorts uh, the first one is usually the project name so in this case c sharp crash course is the project name so that's going to be the namespace but if you have folders or anything you can have dot tt dot then have it go further debug dot biting and so on and so forth so in terraria it'd be common to have your mod name then like your dot items dot weapons and then you have your weapon in there so now we have a namespace let's cover a way to use it so what I'm going to quickly do is go over to this programs so in order to access our namespace I'm actually going to remove the namespace from here so we can actually uh, can't access it by default so in the namespace we're going to have a class called my class so what we're going to need to do is do using c sharp crash course this will give us access to all the uh, classes and methods inside this base c sharp crash course and like i did before we had the console dot right line Uh, you'll notice that this is underlined this is because that is in the using system namespace but just because we have system doesn't mean we can access all the things for example i can't access a list a list would be located in using system dot collections dot generic And that's the namespace under, and that's the namespace you'll use for different stuff. If you don't know what namespace you're using, like for example, if you don't know what console is under, if you're using Visual Studio, you can hover over it, go show potential fixes, and it will give you the using system as the tag. Let's delete those lines and let's go back over to my class. And now we're going to actually create our class. So what I'm going to do is start with public because this is going to be a public class so we can access it anywhere so public class the class is the keyword and a class must always be followed by an identifier or a class name so in this case it's going to be my class 
So here we have the identifier. This is what we're going to be calling. So if I go over to program, we go my class uh, my equals new, then my class. But if we didn't have this using C sharp crash course, again, we'd get an error. Uh, so there we go. Now we have that. We can access the code here. So what I'm going to quickly do is write a method that is going to just write hello world to the console. Uh, so public void write console dot write line hello world. And again, we need that system name tag. So we're going to be using using system. Now that's gone green. So in our program, now we have the uh, variable for our class. We can do my dot write, and then to end off, we can do console dot read line. So even though we have you uh, using system in the uh, class, we still need it here. So using system. Now, if I run this, it should write hello world onto it, and then stay open until we press a button so as you can see it's written hello world waiting for input i press enter and then it's done that's the basics for namespaces using directives and classes in next episode i'll be covering variables and methods like i did this very basic method but there's a lot more that we can cover uh so i'm going to be doing that if you have anything you want to know about C Sharp, please let me know in the description in the description in the comments down below. I'll try and cover as many topics as I can. I'm trying to keep it so these are all focused on stuff that is important to Terraria, whereas some stuff is just not important to Terraria. So thank you for watching. If you have enjoyed this video, be sure to let me know. Hopefully this has been helpful for a starter lesson. Till next time, thanks for watching and goodbye.